business because that's your job creating machine. And we cut taxes to create jobs. And we create jobs so our kids and our grandkids can stay here instead of having to move to Houston or Dallas yeah. for a job. We want them here. So this week we rolled out Roadmap 2.0, the economic, the, the uh, growing the economy section of it. Uh, I set a couple goals in it. Number one, 100,000 net new private sector jobs in the next four years. 100,000 net new private sector jobs. We got 55,000 in the last four years. We're looking to almost double that over the next four years, and we can because of a tax policy in place that allows places like Jackson's and Patty's business to grow and prosper, because of the investments we've made as a state in some big facilities too, the National Bioagroterrorism Facility, the state's put in $300 million to get that $1.2 billion facility that we think will be an anchor for the animal health industry around the area. And we've, we've placed those things in, in place. We think we can get 100,000 new jobs because we're growing three times faster in the Kansas City area on the Kansas side, private sector jobs than they are on the Missouri side. And you're doing that because this is a better tax climate, better tax climate, better schools here. And you've got to invest in your schools at the same time. And one of the myths is that you can't cut taxes and invest in education. And yet, if you study the country, the states that are growing and have low taxes are the ones that have better public infrastructure. Because you've got an economy that's growing, it's kicking off more tax revenues, and that then is why you can invest back in your schools. 